Welcome to another WP Developers training video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to quickly set up an FTP account inside of your GoDaddy hosting. So, I've already logged in, and as you can see, I am on the products page. So, making sure that you are on the products tab. Um, you could go ahead and hover over hosting and then underneath the go to column go ahead and click hosting management and now um, launch our hosting control center here um, right directly below the FTP um, column um, you'll see where it says add user okay and now we can see um, all of the FTP accounts that are associated with this hosting environment um, if you have not set any up then the only one that will be available is the primary FTP user the primary FTP user is usually the username that you create um, when you set up your GoDaddy hosting account and the uh, the password is usually your um, your GoDaddy password that you use to log in um, so but if you're going to be giving FTP credentials to someone else then um, I would suggest against giving that person your um, your primary um, FTP credentials I would go ahead and create um, an FTP account for them that way um, once that person no longer needs access to your your hosting environment you can terminate that account so you'll have a orange button that says add FTP user and we'll go ahead and click that and we'll have to create a username so here I'm going to create the username WPD TEST um, S okay um, one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind about your username is that it has to be 100 percent unique across the entire GoDaddy shared hosting um, servers so you you have to create a username that no one else that has a GoDaddy shared hosting account has set as an FTP user the password is going to have to have at least one capital letter at least one lowercase letter at least one number and has to be at least seven characters long and not to exceed 14 so I am going to create capital T E S T one two three the directory the path here you set where in your hosting environment do you want the person to be able to access so if the person needs to have access to your entire hosting account then you'll want to simply put a slash that slash means that they have access to the root all of the files that are inside of your uh, your hosting environment however if the person only needs access to a subfolder within your root then you'll want to put the name of that folder after the slash okay and if it's a nested sub then you'll have to go all the way in so for example um, if I want to give the person access to a subdirectory named WPD test, I will put a forward slash then WPD TEST. Now imagine if I wanted to give access to a sub of WPD test. So I would have forward slash WPD test and then another slash and you know if that folder's name was index so if I wanted to give the person access to the index folder that is nested inside of WPD test which is nested inside of the root 
this is how it would have to be um, written out here after that you can go ahead I'm gonna leave this set at the root after that we'll go ahead and click Save and if everything is correct then you'll see that um, the status will be pending it usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes however right over here on the right hand side you see that GoDaddy says that it can take up to 30 um, in the case that you need to remove FTP access then you can just click the remove button and click OK and you'll see that once you do that it's pending removal actually I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one and also this one okay thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed post any questions that you have bye for now